Now to our special series, Best of the West, and the latest winner is the Tools and Things Library in Leaderville. The group of volunteers has brought life back to hundreds of forgotten tools to help the casual worker get the job done. You got a hammer. They're the handy helpers refusing to down tools. We've got a battery one as well that we got from somewhere. WA's first ever tool library bringing power to the people. Now when they're doing a project at home and they need a planer or a biscuit jointer or something like that, ah, I know where I can get one of them. For a small fee, members can borrow from a wide range of equipment to complete tasks around the house, from garden and power tools. If you're doing a project and you've got lots of things to, um, to chop at regular lengths, so you can set them up, chop, 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 chop. To car parts or even camping gear, previously cast away items, now a convenient and cheap alternative for the DIY fanatic. The whole idea too is to stop people buying things so that we stop that, that kind of economy of I need to buy this, I need to keep this. The group relies on donations and community support, but now the job's been made easier with $5,000 thanks to Bank West. Oh, oh my goodness, it was so exciting, it really was. We've just, like I said, we've been under wraps and just hoping that we're ready to say, hey, we're over here now. The money will allow the library to purchase better quality equipment to make toolkits for schools and families. Volunteers also keen to begin hosting classes to pass on their knowledge to the community. It's like anything, you just need a little bit of skill to start yourself off and then you learn on, on the job. If you know someone who could use help to help others, nominate them at 9news.com.au forward slash best of the West. Joshua Dorr, 9news.